Hi guys, Daz is back with another comic book haul. This is Daz's comic book hauls episode 77. And this guy's is hands down my best ever haul. So many great silver and bronze age big boy books. A load of TV and movie spec. I have to leave out so many books. I've just got so many piled up. And this is about my 20th time trying to film this. Let's get into the books, guys. Various sources. eBay. Car boots. Antique stores, emporiums, LCSs, you name it, I've got them. Okay, let's get into it. Starting with some TV news. Of course, a book came out this week that has already been optioned. And that is The Marked, guys, The Marked. Now, Brian Haberlin posted on his Facebook that uh, a TV deal is confirmed for this. I've read this, it was okay. The marked are young social influencers with tattoos that are actually magical glimpses, mostly used for pleasure seeking until a new sorceress with a dangerous form of magic emerges. That's the regular cover, guys. And this is the B cover that I enjoy a little bit more. There is a one per store variant that is going for some silly money at the moment. Up next, we have more from Brian Haberlin, because with that announcement came an announcement of this one, Sonata, issue number one. Now this one excites me a bit more. Two races clash over a world they each believe to be their promised land, while a young woman seeks to wake the gods of legend that are believed to inhabit the planet. Looks like giant creature feature. That sounds okay by me. I haven't read it yet. I paid nine ninety five for that. Up next we have. And recently optioned book by Image. I've got a couple of copies of this. This is Sheltered, issue number one. This was a good read. A post-apocalyptic tale of survival against the threat of one's own children. Basically, they're in bunkers and that, preparing for Armageddon, and it's uh, children that start killing them off. Good stuff. That's going to be a TV show. More TV news. And this one is about to be announced, according to the forums. That is cursed words from image that is going to be optioned yeah i paid 6.99 for this this is the regular cover described as a gonzo modern fantasy full of darkness light and magic no no there is an ashcan version that came out four months prior there are a couple of other variant covers there is a, a glittery cat one i believe that is an incentive that goes for about 50 quid now cursed words is coming another one that's coming that has been Greenlit and is definitely in production is DMZ from Vertigo Comics, guys. This is a story about an American Civil War set in the future. Paid eleven seventy four for this. This goes around now for about twenty plus, so I got a good price. Uh, I read it. It was it was okay. Pretty dark storyline, but uh, we'll see how it gets on screen. That is coming from the director, the female director of the New Gods movie, I believe. Another book just recently optioned is The Trees. From Warren Ellis, yeah, um, a series that examines the world 10 years after the arrival of massive aliens who exist motionless and without any acknowledgement towards human, humans just like trees. I like Alien Invasion, that is right up my street, paid five ninety three for that. Again, that's a 15 to 20 pound book now. A series I'm really enjoying with my children and my wife at the moment. Not often we all sit through something together, but that is Raising Dion. It is on Netflix at the moment, guys. Now, what do I pay for this? Eleven ninety-five. It's going for around fifteen to twenty, but be careful. This is a print-on-demand book, and uh, it stars uh, a fantastic little boy. <laughs> but more importantly for me, I like Michael B. Jordan. He, I think he produces and stars in it. But the little kid in it is fantastic. Very geeky show. Okay, so then we go to, on to. Um, a book that I was going to sell just yesterday, but I thought against it. And the reason why, I'll never own it. Amazing Fantasy issue 15. Woohoo! The facsimile. Um, it's pretty meant to be quite hard to find this one, for all accounts. Um, paid 3 50 for it. I've also got the more of a milestone edition. I'll hold it. Uh, found this in a charity shop for uh, 99p, which is a good price because this one is now a 15 to 20 pound book. This is the first appearance of Wild Thing in J2, issue number five. And Wild Thing is Rena Logan, Wolverine, and Elektra's daughter in an alternate universe. He's a busy man, that Wolverine. He's got so many kids. So 
So uh, look out for that. Of course, we, uh, I recently Marvel Comics Presents, uh, we did another daughter. Carby Tony delivered for this one. This was a quid. Captain Atom, issue number 42. Uh, the first appearance of Death of the Endless in the DC Universe outside of Vertigo. Of course, we're getting a, a Sandman show. And by all accounts, uh, Death of the Endless may be appearing in that. After the first appearance of Death of the Endless in a Sandman. Uh, found this the other day. It's got a few good things going for it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. 99p in a charity shop the other day. Uh, of course, if I ever meet Clark Gregg or a character who plays Quake, I can get them to sign that book. Um, this is a 1 in 15 incentive from Gabriel Delotto. And the reason, the main reason I picked it up is the first appearance of Annie Mae Parker, daughter of Peter and uh, Mary Jane, who later becomes Spider-Link in an alternate reality. We all know about the Spider-Verse. Every chance that that character may appear in a, an animated feature. And talk about alternate realities... Uh, we got Spider-Man issue number two. Now this is the first appearance. Sorry, Spider-Man number two, issue number one. My apologies. This is the first appearance of Miles Morales from Earth 616, an evil version of the character who later becomes, of course, Ultimatum. Most recently. And this is a one in twenty-five. Uh, David Marquez variant that I paid three quid for, and this was reaching as high as fifty quid recently. To go with that, the first cover appearance of the evil Mars Morales is Spider-Man 2, issue number 3. There he is, guys. Paid two quid for that. Of my mate Lee. Uh, a hot book alert I made about a... Uh, we're getting a Disney Plus Moon Knight show. Pick this one up. I hope you didn't sleep on this one, guys. The Hulk, issue number 17. I think it's a magazine format from about 1977. And paid £7.48 for this. This is the first appearance of Shadow Knight, a.k.a. Randall Spectre, the brother of Moon Knight, an evil guy. So uh, could well be turning up in that Moon Knight show. Okay, on to the next pile of books. A lot of TV and movie spec on this one. Uh, I was at a con, Gloucester Con. I only picked up eight books. It was disappointing. This was one of them. It wanted ten. I didn't like paying eight, but that's what I paid. Witchblade, issue number ten. This is the first appearance of Jackie Estacado, who later becomes a Darkness. And the reason I picked this up, uh, dark, there is a Darkness show apparently in production. That was announced last year. Also the first appearance of Bruce Wilder in this book, who I guess will be appearing in that show. A couple of appearances now from my favourite show, Jessica Jones. Not many of you will know about this. I had to really track, uh, do some research on this. Marvel Comic Presents, issue number one. Not the most recent volume, but the one before. Uh, this is the first appearance of Brett Mahoney. Uh, he was a, a black, uh, black police officer who was a friend of Foggy Nelson's. And uh, he appeared in Daredevil, Jessica Jones, the Punisher. I enjoyed the character. He was only brief, but uh, had a good little stint. Up next, um, we have Punisher issue one from, this is a, a, a recent title, a recent volume, I think it's 2003 if I'm not mistaken. This is the first appearance of De Detective Clemens, Oscar Clemens, who was killed off by the Purple Man in Jessica Jones. He was a good actor. Um, DC Legends of Tomorrow, uh, not a lot of spec in that series, but uh, I managed to track this one down. Time Masters from 1990. This is issue number one. This is the first appearance of the Time Masters team. Now, obviously, not the first appearance of Rip Hunter. He appeared in Showcase, but the Time Masters are a cool uh, organization in Legends of Tomorrow. One of my favorite shows that I've yet to see, but I cannot wait, because that's my favorite team, Doom Patrol. This is Justice League, issue 23 from the New 52. I don't think many of you will know about this. This is the first appearance of Grid. Now, Grid is a computer that assists um, Cyborg in the Doom Patrol show. You call it a minor key if you're a fan of the show. Talking of DC uh, shows, and we've got JLA 69. This is the first appearance of Faith, and more importantly, the first appearance of Gamine. And Gamine is a, a god, I believe, or a Something like a god that is going to be appearing in Supergirl, the upcoming series, alongside Rama Tut, who I've got another issue. 
and a big quid for that. Let's get into some Batman books, and this is a good one. This is a, a villain that we haven't really seen a lot of. This is from 1966, the Adam West TV show. This is Batman Confidential, issue 26 from 2009. How many? Look at this, guys. The first appearance of uh, King Tut. Now, in the Adam West show, he was rather uh, larger than life. He was a rather porky, actually, but uh, a good character all the same. He, he was a professor by the name of William Omama, Omaha McElroy, and he would suddenly like go into a, a trance and wake up and not have a clue why he was uh, King Tut. Good character. Talking about Batman shows. Uh, Batman, sorry, uh, comic books. This is Batman issue 416. We, of course, we've got the Titans TV show on at the moment. Kirby Tony delivered this one for a quid. And the reason I picked this up, this is the first meeting of Nightwing, Dick Grayson, and the second Robin, uh, Jason Todd, that appeared in the Titans. Uh, didn't really like the character of Jason Todd in the Titans. Uh, uh, Nightwing needs to take him down, I think. Talking of Batman uh, books, and we've got a couple of uh, Black Lightning appearances. Batman and the Outsiders issue 19 up first. And this is the first appearance of the second Cyanide. She was a female assassin in a Black uh, Lightning show. Cool character. Then we have Batman and the Outsiders issue 24, the first appearance of Sister Eve, uh, who later becomes Lady Eve. She was a, a criminal boss uh, working alongside Tobias Whale. Uh, the Punisher movie from 2004, not the Dolph Lundgren one, the second one. Can't remember the guy who played him, but I've just seen him in a horror film from Stephen King. This is the Punisher issue eight, the Marvel Knights run. And this is the first appearance of the Russian. And he was a villain that uh, the Punisher had a big scrap with, and I mean a big scrap in that movie. And I think he was played by one of the wrestlers. They'll come to me. Um... A character that has appeared in a couple of shows now in the Fury of Firestorm, issue number seven. And this is the first appearance of Plastique, Betty Sands Sushi, who appeared in both Smallville and the uh, Flash TV show. Also appeared in the Justice League Unlimited uh, animated show that I enjoyed. A couple of books now. from I made a Suicide Squad 2 um, hot book alert recently, and uh, some new characters are on their way. And this is one of them. Showcase 95, issue number 8. Now, this is the first cameo appearance as a baby of Mongol, the daughter of Mongol. We all know who Mongol is. Um, yeah, she's going to be appearing in the Suicide Squad 2 movie from James Gunn. That's her cameo as a baby. Then her first full appearance comes in Superman, issue 170. Paid four quid for a nice copy. This was after I paid for a ratty copy on eBay, but I'm going to give that one to my friend there at Magic Moments. This is the first uh, Mongol as an adult. And another character who's appearing in that Suicide Squad 2 movie is the Javelin. And the Javelin appears in Green Lantern issue 173. This one's been on my radar for a while because it was talked about the character was going to be appearing in Arrow. Paid £4.10 for this. But it'd be cool to see the Javelin on the big screen. Okay, uh, then I picked up this one. Uh, I don't pick up a lot of modern books, but this was a nice homage cover. This is the plot issue number one from Vault Comics and uh, this is about a man returns to his childhood home where dark family secrets are buried in the black fog that the house overlooks. Um, this is from Nathan Gooden and Tim Daniel. Now I'm not sure whether to keep this one or flip it. Of course it's House of Secrets 92 homage cover. Now we're into the final pile and this is where it gets really nice guys. This is a good stack of books here. Bronze and silver all the way out, guys. Starting with a bit of bronze. We got a, from 1977, Marvel Premiere, issue 35. First appearance of the 3D Man, who was Charles Chandler. Paid £3.10 for that. Another character out of my encyclopedia. This is a spec book for me. This is the, I got a lovely run of the Fourth World books, and I got a nice run of New Gods. This is New Gods, issue number 9. Paid 4 84 for this. This is the first appearance of a character called Forager. And a forager is uh, one of many humanoid bugs that live beneath the surface of the new Genesis. You can well see the bugs appearing in the new Gods movie. Also the first appearance of All Widow. This is a book that's really underrated in my opinion. This is Batman, issue 307. And uh, 
This is the first appearance of Lucius Fox. Yeah, of course, he's been in a lot of Batman films and most recently Gotham. Now, yeah, I paid four ninety five for it. It's usually about a 10 to 15 quid book. And a sticker. Uh, it's a placekeeper for now. Uh, this was a, a find from the con I went to in Gloucester. One of the few books. They had it for 10. I offered 8. So I didn't even like paying 8. But this is a spec book. This is the Master of Kung Fu. Issue 33, guys. Now, this is the first appearance of Leiko Wu. An agent of MI6. Now, this character is apparently, apparently going to be in the Shang-Chi movie. Okay, guys, so don't sleep on this one. Uh, it's also the first appearance of Mordillo, who was Simon Bretner, an assassin and brilliant engineer of killer robots. Another book I picked up at the con for four quid. Captain America, issue 164. It's only pretty low grade. But I was desperate, guys. This is the first appearance of Nightshade. It was Tilda Johnson, and she appeared in the Luke Cage TV show. I like that character. Here's a lovely find for a lovely price. Uh, I've got the Big Boy book, uh, Werewolf by Night, issue 32. Now I have his companion, Werewolf by Night, issue 33, the second appearance of Moon Knight. Uh, of course, it was Mark Spector. We're getting the Disney Plus Moon Knight show, so it was a good time to pick up this book. And what price did I pay? A book that's usually 40 to 50 quid. Eight pounds I paid. Eight quid. Yes, yeah, mid grade. Around about a four, I reckon. But uh, this book usually goes for, like I say, about 50. Uh, up next, uh, paid. The guy wanted 35 at the con. And I didn't even want to pay 25, but that's what I offered. 25, but it's a nice book. And it goes for about 30 online. This is Luke Cage Power Man, issue number 19. This is the first appearance of Cottonmouth, Cornell Cottonmouth, who appeared in Luke Cage, and the actor is now going to be playing Blade. Yeah, good stuff. Up next, we're getting, uh, at some point, the A-Force are being talked about. So I picked up A-Force issue one from a charity shop for 99p. That's the first appearance of the A-Force team. I didn't really like when all the women teamed up in any game. It felt a bit forced. But I don't like, I don't mind the, the premise of the A-Force team. Uh, Disney Plus spec now. And we're getting a Hawkeye and Kate Bishop um, uh, show, aren't we? So this is a good spec book for me. Solo Avengers, issue number one, guys. Uh, a little bit of talk about this character. This is the first appearance of Trickshot, but Chisholm. Not in costume, though. Now, Trickshot, apparently, I think, is maybe a half-brother of uh, Hawkeye. And he has been talked about for the show. Interior artwork by Jim Lee in that book. What did I pay? £5.40. I would get on this one, guys, if you can find it for five and under. Another spec book. We are getting a low-key TV series. And I'm excited for that. And this character is being talked about for being in the show. This is Thor, issue 137. I only paid £3.69 for this. Nice bit of a Silver Age. And this is a uh, first appearance of Ulick. Ulick. There we go. A rock troll. And apparently he is going to be in the Loki show. Uh, the first appearance of Mongol of the Mystic Mountain as well. Into some silvers now, guys. Silver all the way out. This is a, a second copy and an upgrade. I love my showcase. This is showcase issue 72, uh, 78. Sorry. This is the first appearance of Johnny Double. Jonathan Sebastian Double. I paid six quid for that, guys. Love my showcase. Here's a book. A little minor key, but none... I, Guarantee hardly anyone will know about this one because I had to do some research. This is Action Comics issue 348. I was watching the Flash TV show recently and this character actually popped up in there. This is the first appearance of Acid Master, Philip Master. Yeah, he appeared in one episode of the last Flash season. Look out for that. Another cheapest chips book, low grade, but for £3.19 I picked up Adventure Comics issue 352. The first appearance of the Fatal Five. And, oh, there's my daughter making a cameo appearance. And, uh, yeah, the Fatal Five have just had their own animated show. Or feature film, sorry. Up next, what did I pay for this one? £7.98. This is a rare one. You don't often find this one. Uh, now, the centre forward is detached, but I didn't mind for that price. This is Fox and the Crow, issue number 12. And this is the first appearance of Stanley and his monster. Yeah, I got a, a, 
a modern book with Stanley and his monster in, so I thought that was pretty cool. And that was a character in my encyclopedia. My favourite pickup from the uh, Gloucester con was this one, guys. Uh, paid just £14 for this, which is a steal. Uh, I missed out recently on the, uh, the first appearance of the Doom Patrol at an auction, and I was gutted. Um, but at uh, this con, I picked up My Greatest Adventure, issue 81. The second appearance of the Doom Patrol, guys. Now, this is a £50 plus book at the best of times. And, and this is presents very nicely, so happy to get that. Talking of Showcase, my favourite series, and we've got a couple more from them. What did I pay for this one? Thirty-four seventy, but it is very nice condition. Showcase presents issue thirty-nine, and this is the first appearance of a villain that most recently appeared in the Teen Titans Go animated film, but uh, is always well known. And that is the first appearance of Chemo. He is like a big, jolly, green jelly. Um, but he, he looks a bit different in this book. Uh, this is also the third appearance of the Metal Men. Now, we've got the first appearance of the Metal Men, but that was coverless. Another showcase book that I was delighted to pick up. It's a low grade, probably about a two. But uh, I only paid £13.20 for it. And that is a great book. Sorry, this isn't show. Yeah, it is. I thought this was showcase, but it's brave and the bold. I got it wrong. <laughs> Issue thirty-one. And this, guys, is the first appearance of Cave Carson, Calvin Carson. Yeah, delighted to have that one. And also the first appearance of Bulldozer Smith and Christy Madison. What did I pay? Thirteen pound twenty for that. Thirteen pound twenty. Great steal. And now my three big boy books to finish with, and they are big, I think. First up, I paid thirty-six twenty-four for this. This is a lovely old book that you wouldn't associate with me, but I'm going for the the oddball books at the moment. And this is Our Army at War, issue number one hundred and fifty-one. The first appearance of Enemy Ace, guys. Enemy Ace. Delighted to have that one to the PC. Again, it's only around about a four, but uh. Sonic Staples, as he said, and Enemy Ace's hands, Von Hammer. Delighted. Good read, that was as well. Uh, my next big boy book is, you're getting bang for your buck with this, two characters for the price of one. We are getting Journey into Mystery, issue 102. I pay 41 for this, and this is very nice indeed. This is the first appearance of both Lady Sith, from the Thor movies and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show, and the first appearance of Hela, who was the villain in Thor Ragnarok. Delighted to have that. It's also the second appearance of Bored of the Brave. And my final book, guys, is a book I've wanted for so long, and I'm delighted to finally tick it off my list. This is a big boy book, if there ever was one, and now is the time to pick it up, guys. Now, I paid, this was on auction, on eBay, and it was sat at 81 pounds forever and i thought this is going for at least 120 and the last minute i stuck in 82 and got it i couldn't believe it for 82 pound guide i picked up a really nice copy of the flash issue 139 the first appearance of the reverse flash <sighs> oh my days what a great book uh, of course first appearance and origin of professor zoom aka the reverse flash eobard thorne Star of the Flash and the Legends of Tomorrow TV show. And it presents really nicely, guys. Lovely spy. In fact, there's not too much wrong with that at all, guys. So that's it. That is Dazzy, a wrap. Hope you enjoyed my big boy books, guys. My sponsors today are of Batman and Doomsday. Look at that big boy. Yeah, does he? Thanks for all your support, guys. Thanks for everyone who subscribes. If you haven't, please subscribe if you like what you see. That's Daz over now. Bye for now.